Hi everyone, my name is Marco with Board Game Revolution, and today we have a sneak peek of Predaporter coming at you, which is launching on Kickstarter in July. Now, in this preview, we're going to be going over an overview of Predaporter, its changes from version 1 to version 3, as well as we're going to give you the highlights of what makes this game so special and why you need to back it. Well, stick with us and we'll get right into it. Predaporter is a 2 4 player work replacement engine building set collection game where players have 12 months to build up their collections, gather their materials, and then at the end of every quarter take their designs to Fashion Week for mass amounts of money and prestige. So what has changed between versions 2 to versions 3? Well first off, there's a victory point track now that's around the board so you can easily see where your progress is throughout the game as well as to easily check end game scoring. The second major change is the turn order track. With this track, players will no longer just be passing the player marker to the left. Now, players will be going in reverse order during the second worker phase. This gives an opportunity for everyone to have a fair opportunity to take actions and be the first on those actions. Third, they have increased the size of the player boards, game boards, and cards, so everything is easily more visible. And finally, they've added bankruptcy. If by the end of the game you cannot pay off your loans or your credit cards, your game is over right then and there. Every quarter of Preda Porter is comprised of two different types of rounds, two worker rounds and one exhibition round. A worker round begins with players preparing their workforce and taking turns assigning their workers onto different actions. Next, starting on action one and moving all the way down, players will take turns with their workers. Make sure not to skip any actions because some cards will allow players to take certain actions. If at any time you get a new worker or building, make sure to update your upkeep track. After the last action is taken, players now can upgrade one employee and or building at the cost on the lower left hand corner. Again, making sure to update the upkeep track for any building or employee you upgraded. Finally, players will pay off their upkeep with the cash that they have or by taking a loan. In the exhibition phase, players are now ready to show off their hard work and sell their collections at Fashion Week. This round begins with players trading in any prestige they acquired the last exhibition for victory points. Next, players will acquire any tokens that are associated with their contracts, employees, and buildings. Now the award ceremony is ready to begin in each city and players will compete against each other to see who has the highest values and gets the most prestige. At the end of the award ceremony, people are ready to buy up your designs. Any prestige you got in this round will give you a bonus of cash times the amount of designs in your collection. Once all items are sold, it is time for the final upkeep round. Not only do players have to pay their upkeep this round, they also have to pay off any loans and credit cards they acquired this quarter. If it is the final round of the game and players cannot pay off either their credit cards and or loans, they go bankrupt and the game is over. So why should you back Preda Porter? Well number one, this is a medium to heavy work replacement Euro game. So if you're into Euro games and work replacement, this is a game that you want to consider to have on your shelf because it doesn't have a standard work replacement feel. This is a game where it gives you two rounds of work replacements and then the third round that's completely on its own where you actually feel like you're going to a fashion show competing with your other designer opponents and then going and getting the most prestige out of it and money to go and fund your next designs. Number two, the synergies that are in this game that give you that nice engine building feel. In this game, you're not only dependent on having to maximize on all three of the different contracts, businesses, or workers. This one, you can actually make a mass synergy, which is maybe contracts and buildings, or buildings and workers, or workers and contracts, which will all give you benefits to other actions, to the fashion show phase, to even how much money you get at the end of every upkeep phase. Number three, bankruptcy. So in other work replacement games and Euro games, there's no real threat of you losing because there's always a possibility of you catching up in points by end game conditions. Well, not in this game. This game, if you don't pay off your loans and your credit cards, your game is done. And that's a tension that is built throughout this game. And especially in the third and fourth quarter, you really feel the pressure and you're like, I have to build 
more designs because I need to pay off these loans or I'm out. And number four is the theme. So I'm going to admit it that a few years ago when I saw this on the game shelf, I was turned off by it because of this theme. And I was like, why would I want to be a fashion designer? How was this going to really motivate me to want to play this game? You know, and I've heard others on Facebook say the same thing. Well, I have to tell you that that is a misconception about this game. This game's theme fulfills well within the worker placement engine building series. It actually makes you feel more instead of a just a fashion designer, but actually like an entrepreneur trying to get your business off the ground. And that's something that a lot of themes don't do very well is make you feel encompassed in the game. And this does a great job at that. Well, thank you for joining me at Board Game Revolution sneak peek of Preda Porter. If you like what you see here, please make sure to check out their Kickstarter page in July and back this game. If you also like our content, please make sure to check out Board Game Revolution's YouTube page, Facebook group, and our Instagram. Thank you guys for joining me. My name is Marco. You guys have a great day.